should a woman ever be a pastor? No. And what do you, what do you think about the women who are calling themselves preachers and pastors and bishops and their husbands are allowing them to do it? I think it's a problem because when you have a woman who acts as a preacher or a pastor, then how is the order in the home? Yeah. I mean, okay, in the, in the church, in the pulpit, I'm in charge. But in the home, you're supposed to be in charge. Yeah. I don't think that goes together. The Bible speaks clearly against women being pastors or preachers. Um, a woman can be a prophetess. That's true, but that's not being a pastor or a preacher. Um, I don't think that women should be in the pulpit or men should be sitting on the women. But that does not mean that women don't have mm -hmm. knowledge and are filled with the Holy Spirit and cannot speak, for, speak what maybe God is speaking to them, but not a pastor or a preacher over a congregation. Yeah. No. Why do you think there are many men preachers who are allowing their wives to do that now? That's a good Why question. do you think they're doing that? I, when I see that, I think to myself, like, well, man, if I was in that position, could I? <laughs> it would be very tough. I yeah. don't know how. I don't know how they do that. How the hierarchy in the home is not mixed, messed up when that when that happens. I just don't see it that way. And maybe I'm wrong, but do, would God call a woman to be the pastor and not the husband? I just, you know, it just doesn't make biblical sense to yeah. me. So, but I'm say, not against women, though. I love women and I respect women 100%. So. What made you say that right now? Because I have learned, um, I've gotten advice from, from, from women before, counselors, mm -hmm. teachers. Uh, my mother's given me some good advice, my sister. Um, and I believe what you do is when you receive that advice, then you weigh or not whether or not you want to accept it or you want to do it. So if a woman is filled with the Holy Spirit, then I believe that her wisdom is different than a woman who's not filled with the Holy Spirit. And I believe you can. And, and why did you have to say right now, I love women? I'm not against women. Well, I, I, don't, love I don't want to come across that, that, that I don't because God loves all people. He right. loves men. He loves women. He loves whites. He loves blacks. He loves, <laughs> he loves all people, as do I. Uh, and so women would think that you don't love them if you spoke the truth like that about no, them? No, I just think the way it came across, I wanted to make sure I was articulating myself properly. Oh, I got you. Um, you said that they can't be preachers and things like that, but they can be a prophetess? Yes. What's yes. a prophetess? Just? A prophetess is a woman prophet. Um, the Bible talks about that. Um, and Deborah was a prophet, a judge and a prophet in the Bible. Also, Anna in the New Testament was a prophet. <laughs> and there were also four virgin daughters in the New Testament who were prophetesses. But so, what do they do? What does a prophetess do? The same thing a prophet does. They speak what... God is telling them to speak or what God is speaking to them. That's what a prophet, a prophet does. And remember also in the book of Acts, it says that he will put our, pour out his spirit on, put among all flesh and sons and daughters right. will, will prophesy. So there's a difference between prophesying and being a prophet or a prophetess. But I believe that there are prophetesses still in the land today. Few, but I believe there are. Amazing. Would you ever tell a woman your problems? <laughs> <laughs> Sure. You would? If I, my wife, yeah. You have a wife? I do. And you would tell your wife your problems? Yeah, I would talk to my wife, yeah. Why? Because I believe that uh, the husband and the wife are one. So if I'm one, why am I separating how I feel from her? You know? But I don't... women hate weak men. They, 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 they can't handle your problems because they can't even handle their own problems, right? And so they look to the man as the man looked to Christ. Mm -hmm. But if the man come home, oh, honey, I'm tired. They did me this way. And I, <laughs> I'm depressed and I'm worried. She's not going to respect you for that because she can't look up to you. She's supposed to look to you to bring her out of her hell, not you go into her hell with her. Agreed. And all, it all depends on what the problems are. Um, like what's for dinner and stuff like that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, when you're in a marriage and even though you're, you're, you're saved, you still have to deal with things in the world. You got to deal with bills and you got to deal with different things, all kind of things that come up in life. So you should be able to communicate with your with your spouse to be able about to, practical things. Right? Sure. Like sure. How, what for, for dad, make sure you pay those bills. Sure. And, and clean his house. Mm -hmm. Oh, OK. If it's an issue, but you that wouldn't I'm, tell her you if you were like at worried or. If, Somebody insulted you or all that. You wouldn't if, put that on, If right? there was an issue that concerned me and it was on my heart, I would speak to my wife about it and hear her perspective on it. But really? I would always get the final perspective from God. He's what? the last say so. But sometimes, like I said, a Holy Spirit-filled woman can give you wisdom. Um, would you ever listen to a woman? Yes. Yes, I would. You it would listen to a woman? It depends on the situation, yeah. 
You you would take advice from a woman. It de it depends on the advice. <laughs> it depends on the situation, and it depends on the woman. All three things. And so God said that every time you listen to the the man, listen to the woman, he'll suffer. You know, he didn't say that. Yes, he did. Where, where's that located? With Adam and Eve's thing. <laughs> he didn't say every time the man. He said because you listen to the woman, you suffer. And so every time the man listens, unless she's telling him, oh, the kids acted up today, you know, practical thing. Mm -hmm. But every time the man listens to the woman, he suffers. But is the man having... Is that his, true or not? Does the, no, I don't think that's true. Really? Does the man have his arm tied behind his back and he's forced to listen to whatever the woman says, even if it's wrong? The man has the final decision, so he has to have some responsibility. In 2 Timothy, it says that the woman was not deceived. The woman was deceived, but the man was not deceived. So well, he whether would he just see, he but, would just see by the woman. But then he still has to follow. If she says, okay, honey, eat this or do this, he can say, you know what? God said not to. I'm not going to do it. So the final decision goes on the man and responsibility goes on, goes on the man, not the woman. So it's on Adam. Adam could have said no, put his foot down. So that's on Adam. That's Adam's fault. Well, it's not the woman's fault now that you listen to her because men know better than to listen to women. <laughs> 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 but they listen anyway and they suffer. I've never met a man in my whole bone days that listened to his wife and he did not suffer. Really? Right. Now, for practical things, like, like women are lowered to the ground, right? So they know the hell that's going on around them. <laughs> lowered to the ground. <laughs> right. And so they know the hell. So they can tell you if somebody's about to rob your bank because they know. They hear all the nasty stuff, right? But... A man should not listen to her. How do you deal? How does so you listen to your wife at times? And how does what does she think about the fact you you listen to her? Uh, I think that she respects that. You take her advice at times. Wow, you take your mom's advice too. At times, really. I think you you'd be a fool what not to take. The? A, I think you'd be a fool not to take advice of somebody who's been here. 20, 30 years before you were here and been through things that you haven't been through. Like I said, it's different to take advice from, you had to separate women from Holy Spirit-filled women. That's a totally different, that's they don't a big exist. difference. Really? So, you being filled with church the, women. <laughs> why do you say that? <laughs> they know the word, but they are helpful. Hell at them. So you don't have believe you the Holy Spirit's that? for everybody? The Holy Spirit's for, the, for men and women, right? Right. But the women don't have it. Oh, why, why is that? Why is that? <laughs> because they've been let down by their fathers. Their fathers didn't protect them from their mothers. They've been recreated in their mother's image. They're angry, and, they're, and they go and read the Bible, and they go to church and hoop and holler, but they have not overcome that anger. How do you deal with the hell in your wife when it comes out? <laughs> no hell in my wife. I, don't, I, I told you there's a difference between the Holy Spirit-filled women and women that are not filled with the Holy Spirit. So when that anger come out of her, how do you deal with that? It all depends on the situation. It all depends on the situation. What do you mean by that? Um, I mean, when a, when a woman is angry, the way you respond or react to her is very key. Um, you can respond with the truth. You can respond with compassion. Um, as you should do. I think the man's job is to cover and protect his wife, his woman. And part of the way she did what? That, against um, attacks from the world, from things that come against her, the things that may try to harm her or hurt her. And so how do you deal with the hell that, you know how you wake up in the morning sometimes and you're all feeling good, you had a good night's sleep, and she wake up and, and you up there smiling. She's she like, what are you smiling about? <laughs> she all irritated, had bad dreams or bad sleep. How do you deal with the hell when it comes, you come home from work, she's mad about nothing. How do you deal with that? I don't know if I've experienced that um, to that degree that you're talking about, but uh, I rely also on the Holy Spirit. You like Holy Spirit help me now? The Holy Spirit is the one, sh he is the helper. So he should be helping that? you deal with not just your wife, but all relationships in the world, outside of the world. But when that. the hell is coming out of your wife, you say, Holy Spirit, help me? I don't, I don't believe she has any hell in, hell but, in her. But when she get angry. Okay. And you say, Holy Spirit, help me? Well, okay, well, what, what are you angry about? What, 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 what's, what are you, what's going on? She can tell me what she's angry about, and we can talk from there. My wife is a very good communicator. So 
And like I said, feel with the Holy Spirit and in the word. And I think that's the key to all of this. When you generalize all women or all men, you got to separate that from those that are actually saved and feel with the Holy Spirit and walking by the word of God. But I never woke up feeling like all happy and shit. <laughs> Just hell, I, I haven't had that experience. So <laughs> I don't know. Keep living. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 oh, man. <laughs> what the? Amazing. Um, you said there was no hell in your wife, right? I don't believe so, no. But the anger she has is hell. Once again, I don't, that's not scriptural. That's not scriptural? Mm -mm. You think the anger she has is, is love? No, I don't think that is anger it's really and love. It's not love, love it things. must be hell. Uh, I don't think it's as black and, black and white as that. Well, what is it then? If it's not heaven and it's not hell, what is it? It all depends on what kind of anger. There's righteous indignation. The Bible talks about being Boom. angry, do not sin. It talks about being slow to anger. So I don't, it all depends on what you do with that anger. You'd be surprised in the Old Testament. The, it says so many times that God was angry. God was angry. And, of course, he has righteous anger. But what we need to learn to do is have anger, which is also displeasure, but not sin, not react to it. So when your wife is angry, you're standing there thinking, oh, this feels like, feel like righteous anger. Um, it's much more love for my wife than anger, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would say. <laughs> so what? There's much more love coming from my wife than anger. So, oh, yeah? Yeah. But yeah. doesn't that anger uh, wipe out the, the much love when she's angry? Oh, no, like I said, anger is a, it's, it's an emotion. You Do know, you tell your also... wife how the cow ate the cabbage? No, I don't. Why not? Because like I said, I, re I don't know what that means. I'm going to look it up later, but I don't know what that means. To be honest <laughs> with you. <laughs> Do you agree with me that Satan, the God above, is the man's God, and the God below, which is Satan, is the woman's God? I don't agree. I think that... You say you don't agree? I don't agree. Why? I think that until you accept Jesus and come into the knowledge of salvation of Jesus Christ, every person's <coughs> God is the, is the devil. The Bible says the God of this world is Satan. So until man or woman, until you come into God, everybody's God is the devil. And so is, is the devil the woman's God? The woman and the man, yeah, until it, they come it, to God. Not to, when she comes to Jesus, no longer is, is the devil the woman's God. But until she comes to Jesus, Satan is the woman's God. And man. Well, how about the woman? Yes, the woman too. How about the woman? <laughs> yes, the woman. <laughs> uh, when did you realize that Satan was the woman's God? Uh, I don't remember exactly when, but when reading the Bible, I realized that Satan is everybody's God until they come into the knowledge of salvation of Jesus Christ. But not Satan just the is woman. not the man's God. So Satan is not the man's God. Well, he's the woman's God. No, I don't believe that until you I come into I can prove it to you. Oh, let's, let's, let's but tell me why you don't believe that. Because if that's the case, then Muslims and Buddhists will be able to go to heaven because their God is not. I believe that Allah and, and Islam is all Satan's religion. That's Satan. Is their, that's the God of that religion, Satan. So you cannot be in Muslim and in Buddhism and think that your God is the God above. That's error. That's who? That's error. Who? <laughs> that's a mistake. Oh, <laughs> I thought you said Aaron or someone. <laughs> error, E R R O R. And error. so you don't believe me when I tell you that Satan is the woman's God? I believe, no, I, I do believe, but I believe it's not just the woman's God, yes. but only the woman's God until she comes into the salvation of Jesus Christ. Who else is her God if it's not just Satan? The only, the only God, there's only, there's only two. There's only God or Satan. Right. And until a person, a woman especially, or a man, we're talking about women, until she comes into the knowledge of salvation of Jesus Christ, then her God will be the devil. But once she comes into that, that, that um, salvation, she, no longer is the devil her God. Once she's born again of the Father. Right. That's true. But until that, Satan is her God. Did you know that's why all the hell was in the woman? Because Satan was her God? <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say all the hell is in the woman. There, I mean, there are cases in the Bible where the, the devil has came through women to come through men. All the time. I, I, you, that's, that's not denied. A perfect example of that. Who listened to Satan, Adam or Eve? Okay, Mike, before I answer that, who did Eve listen to? Yeah, one time she listened to her husband. But when she listens to Satan, she no longer listens to her husband. So that means that Adam's actually listening to Satan. Uh -uh. She's listening to him. No, Eve. not yet. 
who the, who listened to the Satan, Adam or Eve? Adam, because the Bible says he was not deceived, so he you knew said this was wrong. Adam listened to the Satan. Yeah, Adam knew it was wrong. What the? Second Timothy two says who yeah. listened to the devil, the wife or the husband? Both. Uh uh. Mm. That's not in the Bible. No. No. Okay. I know we, we talk about what That's it says not, that you listen to your wife. The word. I heard you say, <laughs> listen to your wife. Right? That, that is true. You heard me say that on my show? I heard you say it before, yeah. Right. Oh. But, but see, look, I believe in the whole Bible, not just Genesis. So I'm talking about in 2 Timothy, it says the man was, Adam was not deceived. So who right. did he listen to? The woman. Ah, he listened to the devil. No, he listened to the woman who listened to the devil. Okay. So when the woman listened to the devil, he became her God. And when Adam listened to the woman... She became his God. Mm. And that's why men are still subject to women until they forgive their mothers and God will forgive them and he will return them back to their natural nature, which is of the father. And then the woman will have to, if she want to come out of her hell, and if she marries, she don't have to be married to, to return to the father. But the woman is the man's God. That's why men are afraid of women. That's why you're afraid to tell your mama you're sorry for resenting her. <laughs> <laughs> you're good at so trying you're to trick me. You're not going to trigger me, but no, I'm not no, afraid. I'm not, uh, I'm not afraid of my mother at all. Yes, you are. That's why you won't go to her. You're afraid no, of you may hurt no, her feelings I, or this. No. But the woman is the man's God until, until he forgives his mother and, and return to his father, earthly father, and through him he can return to God by not resenting them. And... And, and the devil is the woman's God because she, Satan is still her God until she forgave her mother and returned to her earthly father, and then God returned them back to their natural state. Do you believe salvation is for men and women? Yeah, it's for all who will receive it. That. But most women are not going to because they love the hell that's in them. <laughs> <laughs> What? It's true in some cases, but not all. I don't think it's all cases. There, there are few, cases. I know a lot of women now who have heard the truth about going and forgiving mm -hmm. because God said before you for, enter into the kingdom, you must forgive, right? So they go and forgive their mothers who turn them away from their earthly fathers mm -hmm. in return, turn them away from God. I can see that, yeah. And once they forgive their mothers, now they start to see and they understand. So they, re, they start to develop a clear mind. They develop the mind of God. And so, but until the woman does that, it's not going to happen. I can see that in some cases, but I wouldn't generalize women every, at all. Cases. Every human being that's born through the woman. I disagree with that. You don't, believe, you don't agree that every human being that's born of the woman must be born of the father? Yeah, everybody. Yes, of course I do. So does every human being that's born of the woman must be born of the father? Yes. So why you don't believe in it when I just said that about the woman? Because the way you're putting it, it says that the, the God is the, the God above is the man's God. So when he comes out of the, out of the womb, he's automatically God is his God. But that's not the case. Everybody who's born, their God is the devil until they come into the knowledge of salvation of Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter if you who you are, man or woman. So God was just playing what he said, the woman is the man God because Adam listened to Eve. There's nowhere that the Bible says that. He said because you listen to the woman, you suffer. Well, that's true he didn't in that case. He did say because he listened to the devil. He told Eve that, but not, say, not Adam. He said because he listened to the woman. In that case, it's true. But then Timothy expounded on that and said that Adam was not deceived. No, he wasn't. It was Eve that was deceived by the devil. So Adam bears some responsibility since he wasn't deceived. Eve, she, if you're deceived, you don't really know what, what you're doing. You beguile. Adam knew. So he bears a lot of responsibility he for He knew that. what? That he should not have... Um, been disobedient to God. No, he knew he should not have listened to the woman because he knew that she had listened to the devil. Both things and are true. And he could correct her. If Adam had corrected Eve rather than listening to her and turning away from his father, we wouldn't have this mess that we have now. I can't disagree with you on that. I premise. rest my case. I can't disagree with you on that premise. Yeah. Okay. So it's not Adam would just see it was Adam should not listen to the woman. That's why every time the been man, man. listened to the woman, mm -hmm. he suffers today. Adam should have been a man and said no, right. Eve. Yeah. So who's that's on Adam. It's, she didn't twist his arm. It's his fault that he listened. That's why yes. we suffer. Yes. But the, the woman is the man, that God, and Satan is the woman's God. Is that clear now? I believe it's both the man and woman's God until they come to but Jesus But you just Christ. believe in it, but you believe in something that's not true. 
I'm believing what the word says. The word never says. The word says that Satan is the God of this world. It's but right, but of this world, but not of the man. It's of the woman. It never says he's. <laughs> we just disagree on that. That's all. Amazing.